Hello guys! Welcome to Ram's Tutorial! If you are new here to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you are updated in our latest tutorial. So today my dear viewers, we are going to discuss or tackle the different names and scientific names of the following some animals here in our country, Philippines. Remember my dear students, in this beautiful world, Animals have as much right to live just like us human beings. In totality, my dear students, the entire earth is a common property of all of us. Animals cannot speak for themselves and for that reason, we need to protect them. And protecting them is something we should take pride in its our responsibility, just like our selves we need to protect it we need to go uh to consult the different what we call agencies to take care of themselves also we don't want to abuse our animals the different types of animals remember animals have lives so we should take care of them so if you are new here in my channel guys please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you're updated to my channel Ram's tutorial blog and once again my dear students please welcome back to my channel good morning my dear students good morning class we are going to discuss about some animals and their scientific names remember class when you say scientific names it is what we call their names of the following animals Okay, and their definition of it and their functions. Scientific name class, a name used by a scientist, especially, especially rather the taxonomy name of an organism that consists of the genus and species. Scientific names usually come from a Latin or Greek. An example is Homo sapiens. A homo sapiens class is the scientific name for humans. That's why we need to tackle about scientific names or different sums, animals, and what you call uses and functions of it. First is that Philippine eagle. We know that the Philippine eagle class is our national bird. So when we use that Philippine eagle, scientific names for Philippine eagle is that Fetikophagi Jeffrey or also known as the monkey eating eagle or great philippine eagle so remember class philippine eagle is what you called very useful in our what you called how to uh, balance balance to our ecosystem balancing for our ecosystem rather that's their functions and uses this endangered species also which is endemic to forest in the Philippines so we need we don't want to kill our what you call animals especially Philippine eagle our Fetikophagi jeffery next we have carabao carabao class their scientific names is bovalos vovalis caravinesis it is what you call a domestic swamp type water buffalo native to the Philippines. So when you say it, a carabao, it's what you call uh, helping animals to, especially to our farmers, the backbone of the nations. Because without these, what you call particular animals, so our backbone of the nations referring to farmer, it's difficult for them to louder fold before planting the different types of crops i'm right with your students that is the uses of carabao so that you all know their function and uses so we should avoid and stop killing animals a tarsier a tarsier class their scientific names is tarsidae are any hovering primates of the family within the infraordered tarsiforms 
a tertiary class located in Bohol. This is what we call the small primates, the smallest among animals. So we need to take care of them also. Okay? We need to love, we need to what we call uh, care for these animals. Not only it adds beauty to our nature, but it helps also balancing for our nature, especially the ecosystem. Dog. It's kindness, love was familiarist. Remember, dog is man's best friend. Not only man's best friends, of course, it serves as our guard in our house. Not only guard in our house, serves as our playmates also. So we need to take care of our pets. Love them and support them also. It is a member of the genius canis. We know class when when we say genius canis, that's why dog is what we call a trainable animal. This is a type of animals wherein we can train them well. That's why it serves as our guard, it serves as our friend, and they can do a lot of tasks also. We train them, which forms part of the wolf like canis, and it's the most widely abundant terrestrial carnivorous animals. When you see it, Carnivorous, that means to say it's only animals. Meat eaters, in short. It's clear, my dear students. Let's proceed to the next number. We have a cat. A cat is what we call a very also entertaining pet that help us also entertain and of course, deserves us stress reliever. It's a Feliz Domesticos, their scientific name. A domestic species of small carnivorous mammals. Okay, it's meat eaters also. That's why we need to buy what you call the cat food or special cat food or different types of cat food as well as we feed them in a proper ways, of course, in order to help them grow well. Let's get a pika pavo cristatus or also known as pifo is a medium-sized bird most closely related to a pheasant. You know class that when you say the peacock it's what you call the bird's family. Why your bird's family? They can fly. They can fly but it can't fly to a higher what you call from from a higher place going down. No it's not. Okay there are what you call different characteristics regarding peacock but they belong to bird family as far crocodile crocodiling are large semi-aquatic reptiles that live throughout the tropics in africa asia of course here the americas and australia remember class i have certain what we can review about this type of what we call the mammals a crocodile class it's a quite dangerous animal but remember it help us of course not only us for our ecosystem balancing our natures okay so that's why we don't want to kill this type of animals instead if we know that this is dangerous so we don't we don't want to get rid of them so we should be friendly enough so give them food like that and cared for it that animals also need for love for us because remember animals it's just like as a human being and there's a feelings with that next horse wow so lucky horse class it's what you call means of our transportation so remember we walk uh what you call during christ time jesus christ so donkey is a part of horses family so remember the jews the heavy use like that they need they use this as part of their transportations so remember when jesus christ our mama mary is giving birth to our uh, what we call creator and savior of our earth the different what we call heavy use or jews also visited to our what we call savior of earth they use donkeys also as their means of transportation so this is very much important class again horse is what we call equius cavalius that is the scientific name he is one of two exant subspaces of equius ferals it is an odd angulate mammal belonging to the taxonomic family equidae nine lizard or luxertalia are 
a widespread group of Isgrimate drift tiles. Remember this procedure are also house lizards, of course, preferring for killing some pest or like that, a small what we call moth. So that helps balancing furniture. Ten, the last class, take note of that. Pig, their scientific name is SOS or is used. Often called swine, hog, or simply. Remember, pig class is we can uh, what we call it's helping us to give us meat, of course. It serves as our income, of course, and how to take care of them. So that is why we need to study about their names of different animals and different what we call the scientific name. Again, pig, saws, lizard, laxertalia, horse, aqueous cavalier, crocodile, crocodiline, peacock, pavo cristatus, cat, felis domesticus. Next class. Dog, Acanis lophos familiaris, Tarshir, Tarshidae, Caraval, Bobalos, Bobales, Caravenesis. Philippine Eagle, it's Fete Cofage Jeffrey. Again, class, scientific name is a name used by scientists, especially by their students, the taxonomic name of an organism that consists of the genus and species scientific name usually come from latin or greek word okay one example is that's very common homo sapiens the scientific name for humans hope my dear students you learn a lot for our discussion today about some animals and their scientific names if you have any questions please don't hesitate to write in our comment section below and we will tackle some what you call topics what you really want for for me as your mentor as your teacher what we call preacher and mentor for you today don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so that you are updated in our latest tutorial don't forget to subscribe to ram's tutorial educational channel once again class so long and thank you and mabuhay